All right, as promised, right here on Studio 6, uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun. I've got Ann Lutz here with me with Cyport, and she has brought some good and some creepy crawlies <laughs> over here on this side. All right, Ann, tell us a little bit about what you've brought. Okay, uh, these are all great, wonderful bugs. They really we... are wonderful. I just... <laughs> <laughs> We've got uh, the Bug Bazaar coming up okay. April 23rd mm -hmm. at Cyport, and it's a festival of all things buggy, creepy, crawly, buzzy, uh, and I've got some wonderful things here to show you. This is actually... I I'm know, sorry. I'm trying to... <laughs> This is actually the largest roach in the I world. I can't do this. Does he fly? Uh, well, this Don't is Don't point him towards me. This is the small one. <laughs> this is a uh, giant cave roach. Yes. And uh, actually, we have one in here that's a, a little larger. Okay. Oh, my God. He's moving. <laughs> I'm running away. <laughs> oh. Okay. okay so, it. these are giant cave roaches. Mm -hmm. Now, they really can't do anything bad to you, and they're actually wonderful, right? Well, they, they live in caves. And uh, he's not going to like this too much, but I'll show you. He actually has a very giant wingspan. They get up to six inches in a wingspan. I'm as far away as possible as I can <laughs> We're gonna put be those without up. leaving. Okay, the lid's on them. All You're right. doing very, very, Whew. very good. We're safe. We're going through the uh, the ones that you don't love first. The most. <laughs> and these are hissing. These are the Madagascar mm -hmm. hissing cockroaches. And uh, we'll see. You can hear them. Can you hear them? Yeah. Very good. So these actually are from Madagascar, and uh, they uh, hang out. They're not like pests that we have here in Louisiana. They don't come into your house. They love to live in the jungle, okay. and they just hang out and eat fruit. Oh, so, really? Yeah. It's not okay. so scary, is it? Uh, well, the fact that they eat fruit is not so scary. No. Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's just a fruit-eating little tiny bug. Okay. So I did bring some things for you that you're not going to be so jumpy. I know. These I'm so excited about. Okay. Those... Mm, just nope. Mm. Okay, okay, so the Bug Bazaar is not just about bugs. Okay. That's why it's called a bazaar. So we have a whole bunch of host of other animals. Steve Sanctuary is actually going to be there along with Chimp Haven and uh, a bunch of other guests. This is a uh, uh, green iguana. Yeah, beautiful. And gorgeous. Beautiful. The colors are amazing. This is one of my favorite little guys. So we're going to have all sorts of animals at the Bug Bazaar at Cyport. Not just bugs, but we will have tons of bugs. Uh, for every bug aficionado out there, we will have plenty for you to see. And this may be one of my favorite, and I think he'll be your favorite. I think this too. has been the crowd favorite. When you brought <laughs> him in, everybody has been just gathered, like a magnet attracted. This is a Cambridge Chameleonaire. He He's is a, beautiful. He is a veiled chameleon okay. uh, from Yemen, so otherwise known as a Yemen uh, chameleon. And the fun fact about them is their tongue is uh, about two and a half times as long as their body. Okay. So we're going to see if we can feed him a little bit. So what are you feeding him? This is just a mealworm. And uh, we'll actually have like a little fear factor edition at uh, Bug Bazaar where you can actually, if you're brave enough, put your hand in to uh, a bowl of about a thousand mealworms. mealworms. Wow. Yeah, so that's kind of the fear factor. Now, I do know some people that would think that was like really, really cool. I don't know if I would be brave enough to try it, but it sounds a lot of fun. Okay, you, you can see the mealworm like crawling down and so he's watching it. Pretty cool. But you like cookies, right? Yes, are you going to make me a mealworm cookie? We are making I don't mealworm trust you. cookies. <laughs> exactly. We will have, we will have um, red beans and yikes provided by Walter uh, B. Jacobs Nature Park, and that is uh, red beans and rice, but instead of rice, we're going to use wax worms. Oh, fun. So, and it's actually delicious. A lot of uh, countries uh, find it as a delicacy. No, and I, it, I think on the morning show a few um, weeks ago, Steve Bender, my anchor in there, and Patrick Dennis actually ate crickets oh, and fabulous. different creatures like that and thought that was a lot of fun. So it is a lot of fun. It's just not for everyone. <laughs> uh, actually, it, or is it tastes a little nutty like sunflower seeds, so if you okay. like sunflower seeds, you actually may really enjoy it. So I like this idea of this fear factor thing. It's, we, it's a pretty we amazing... We should have brought people on here to do this on air. We could have had some I of our, bring our crew. We could just test them out and see if they're exactly. all brave enough to do it. Okay, so let's talk about the Bug Bazaar. Just a reminder, it's on Saturday, April 23rd from 9 to 1 um, at Cyport. And that's the website and phone number up there on your screen. And it's going to be a lot of fun stuff. And real quick, I want you to talk about this cricket car. Okay. Because that, this might be the coolest thing. That is pretty amazing. This is our cricket NASCAR. And we'll actually be having uh, drag races. And if you can look inside uh, the chamber there, yeah. there's actually a cricket who will be driving the vehicle. And 
and uh, there's sensors in there. So, and he drives the car. Exactly. When the cricket moves right, the car will move right. That when is the cricket so moves cool. left, the car will move left. So we're going to have some cricket NASCAR going on, and we'll see if uh, Dale Cricket Heart or Jeff Bug. Yes, will <laughs> Bugden. Yeah, we don't know which. We one don't know will. who will be, but it'll be exactly. One of them. So we're going to be having races throughout the day, and of course, uh, the U.S. Forest Service is going to be there. There's going to be a lot of different uh, things going on. The Wildlife Education Rehabilitation of Louisiana will be out there with some animals and things. Just a little something. Thank you so much for being so nice and patient <laughs> with me and my ridiculous fears. <laughs> and you're awesome. And we'll see you guys at the Bug Bazaar next Saturday. Stay tuned. We've got more coming up for you after the. Don't go away. Stay tuned for more right after these messages on NBC TV.